before I was able to progress in my career, there was a person who we became friends because I was able to assist him achieve something. And then he gave me the opportunity um, in a managerial role. And he supported me. Um, he believed in me. And he showed me by example how to be. And that was an interesting part because that year that happened, but the year before, someone took me out of a difficult situation and also gave me the opportunity to show who I was. And I highlight those two moments because they followed each other. And both happened at a point in my life where I felt or I was feeling that this path from a career perspective wasn't the right one. And I was blessed enough that not only one person, but two people were put in my life who gave me the support. And to this day, they're part of my tribe. And one of them retired. And I made sure I showed up because I want to give a speech at their retirement. And they did, even though I wasn't in the department anymore. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful for me to speak on their behalf and to see them overcome with, with tears and emotions. It was my opportunity to tell everyone how important this person is because she knew, but to, it's one thing to say it in front of the person or to tell the person, but when you stand up at their going away in front of a crowd, it's more impactful. I'm so tracking that. I mean, have you ever written, like, for example, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn a lot, write a recommendation or a testimonial for someone and they don't know what's coming. Or, and, or you give a kudos and you post it in your main feed and it goes out to the world. Who sees it? I don't know. And they don't know it's coming. And it's just like, yeah, and I don't do it for that. But I just know like, oh, that's just, it's such a gratifying. The beautiful it's moment. so good. It's so, so, so good just to give that. Yeah. When it's great. When like I felt so good felt doing that. But sorry, you were saying. When do you feel most authentic? When I'm doing this. Um, when I'm in my own element. When I'm at home, I feel my most authentic. When I'm walking the street, I feel my most authentic. I always feel... Good question. It's just me... It's me showing everyone that although... There's this picture of me, very positive, very upbeat. I'm no different than anyone else. I have my struggles. Um, I feel my most, uh, me being authentic or feeling my most authentic is when I'm in a pair of sweatpants and I'm just being like everyone else that's in their 30s where I can say what I want. I can do what I want. I can behave how I behave, but... I will say, actually, let me take that a step further for those listening. I will say when I'm, when I'm most, my, uh, most authentic is when I'm communicating with people. When I can tell someone something about myself and it connects them. That's who I am to, to my soul. You know, the, what I do that pays the bills, that's me to a degree. Mm -hmm. The person I am when I'm in the grocery store, that's me to a degree. But when... I am so me when I am doing this. And, I, and that's why I love doing this so much because I love conversations. I love the stories. It's just, I'm trying to find the words for it. It's just me. That's yeah. the best way I can describe it. It's me delivered to you.